All right, hello everyone. This is Anderson Blitz here, and today I'm doing an unboxing video. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time, but my copy finally came out after being a couple of weeks late, and that is the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition on PlayStation 5. It is finally here, guys. I know Rebirth has been out for a couple of weeks, but mine finally came a couple of days ago. I wanted to wait until I had the time to do it. And also, uh, for those of you who are wondering, uh, very, very soon, in a couple of days from now, I will be live streaming my playthrough of Rebirth on my channel and also continue with Street Fighter 6, Final Fantasy 16, etc. But here is the Deluxe Edition for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth right here. And in the back it says, Defy Destiny Together, Cloud is Comrades escape the city of Midgar in pursuit of the fallen hero Setaroth as they travel across the world. They find themselves on a journey that will decide the fate of the planet. Uh, yeah, first thing you need to know is that this thing is super big right here. I actually did bought uh, my collector, um, my deluxe edition for remake on PS4. And if you compare both of them right here, it, it's the same. It, it looks the same, but if you were to uh do from this side i don't know if i'm unless it's possible but right here but from right here you can kind of see that it's that the deluxe edition for final fantasy 7 rebirth is bigger than the one for remake as guys can see right here but yep it's a little bit it's a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger but that's good though i mean it's 100 bucks and it comes with the steel bookcase you know cover art you know and the art book and mini soundtrack but we're gonna be opening it here. I actually opened up just just a little bit. Just wanted to be a little. Just wanted to be sure. But I opened up. I did open up just a little bit of this thing. All right. So, just this part, because I wanted to make it easier. But this is very exciting because I have seen. I, I I have not seen. I only saw just like two. Tra I only saw like three trailers. I only saw the the. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to count the reveal back in 2022. I Actually, no, yeah, 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 that three. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh, no, I only saw four trailers. Uh, the 2022 reveal and the 25th anniversary stream. Uh, the Summer Game Fest reveal, the trailer. Then the one... Then they, then they did the one in um, September. And then there was the one at the Game Awards. And... We all know, I, I'm sure anyone who's seen the trailer I was showing the Game Awards, there is a, when I saw how that trailer ended, it made me say, I don't know if I want to see the final trailer. Because <laughs> I know the final trailer came out, I'm like, yeah, with the way how the Game Awards trailer ended, I don't know if I really want to see the final trailer. And people, I do know that my boy Maximilian Dude was running away halfway through the final trailer. I heard about that and he's like, I can't see this. But <laughs> and I guess enough talking, we'll just take a look at this thing. And yo, this is actually bigger. Oh my God, Wow. Wow, this is actually a CD cover. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa, 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 wow, 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 wow. No wonder why it's bigger because of the CD. Okay. All right, let's do everything quickly, carefully. Okay. So we have the game right here. We have the game. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh god, it's a. Uh... There, there we go. So the exact same cover. 160 gigabytes. What the heck? That is. Wow, I mean, there's again, there's a reason why this game is two disc, and I've only seen a couple of gameplay footage or screenshots that my friends have been playing. Obviously, they're not spoiling anything, but from what they're saying, yeah, and what and from what I saw from the demo, of course, like, this is massive. This is a legitimately massive game. So, I'm just uh, just taking this thing off right here. We have Rebirth, man. This thing looks sick. I mean, that cover, Cloud, Zack, and Satheroth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind. Just want to make sure there's anything happening here. Okay. All right, not bad. Okay, sorry, because I thought there was some digital code. Sorry, I want to make sure. But yeah, uh, Ever Crisis. I don't know if I really want to try it. Maybe I should. Yeah, the soundtrack will be available. And we have the pre-order right here. The anniversary. I mean, this looks cool. Yeah, Setheroth. I like it though. I like. I, I actually like. I actually like how each co how each disc cover is different. So, disc one the data is Setheroth, and then disc two, or the play disc is actually Cloud. So we could take out these for for a quick second. There we go. Look at that. Put two and two together. That looks pretty fantastic, if you ask me. 
And right here we have a back cover or a back rendition. It's, it, it's, it's just basically the the game's logo, but just in black. I was kind of hoping it would have uh, Tifa and Aerith. Like you could flip side. You got have it shown flip side. I guess they don't have it. Yeah, but all right. Because there was that. Because I because I'm sure you guys have seen that fan art or not fan art, but the official artwork where instead of you know Tifa and Aerith. I mean, sorry, instead of Cloud and Zack, it would be Tifa and Aerith there. And Seth Russell in the middle. Now we have the steel bookcase. We've all seen this. This looks awesome. Yeah, the Buster Sword. I mean, check this out. Steel bookcase. And then we have the... Um, uh, then we have... Oh, we have something else. Then we have the uh, the, 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 the official art book. Uh... This art book, actually, you know what? What here's actually something I'm gonna do, real quick, is that clearly this 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 deluxe edition for Rebirth has a little bit more, or has a, has some has more value value than for remake, because, and I'm gonna take this out right now. Here is the original art book for remake, and it is it's a pretty good art book. It has around sixty two pages. And this art book for Rebirth has 118. All right, the journey continues. So this art book looks so looks really awesome. Forward, and we have a we, we have a note from Mr. Kataze. He says the remake trilogy continues with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the second game in the series. The end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, where the party escapes from Midgar, struck an emotional core of many players. Now with Rebirth, picks up right where the game left off, beyond the city of the Maka Walls, Cloud, Barret, Tifa, and Aerith, along with a few familiar faces, step out of the wide open world of fantasy. And with the help of this art book, so do we. Midgar was dark and gloomy, to say the least. He's steaming, has steam, cold steel, and unforgiving concrete dominated the nighttime views on the top side. While the, while the Undercity below was a mishmash of the slums and the abandoned buildings, the world of Rebirth, however, consists of numerous expanded regions where the cities and the populations are just as vast and varied as, as they're surrounding them. Even, even then, they can be differently vast from region to region. And this is a diversity by a color palette that shines through every piece of the art book here. In the original Final Fantasy VII, these different locations were forcibly st st stitched together, and those themes clearly show. For Rebirth, however, the team was able to make these vast landscapes and wave into a single, seamless map, an achievement to which this book could be very served as a testament to not only how it depicts that the seamless continuity was represented artistically, but also how to convert the charm and the, this fantastical world, and I hope you enjoy what this art book has to offer. So those are some words from Mr. Kataze himself. Um, and the way how they literally remade those iconic artworks from the original. Like, we've all seen these artworks before. And to see them, like, literally recreate these artworks from the P from the PS1 era to now the PS5 is just remarkable. I mean, just look at this here. And so we keep going on. We have a lot of, we have a lot of arts right here for, for all the different characters, which is fantastic. Now all this artwork we've all seen, uh, we've all seen previously. I mean this art. I mean I I recognize this artwork because I actually got a poster featuring some of the characters. Oh, and here here's the beach outfits, which have really made people go very very crazy. And all the different summons, right here. Look at that. We have so many summons. Um, all all these different characters, Alexandra. Uh, a familiar face here that makes me very jealous. <laughs> um, we have all the Bahamids right here. We have so many different ones. Yeah, there is way more. And and all, all these different locations, which I don't know if I really want to look into because I don't want to get spoiled, but all these and all the vehicles as well. I mean, this vehicle has really gotten people talking uh, right here. So this is this, honestly, this is just so fantastic. Um I don't know. I'm not going to take too much. Look. Oh, yeah, here it is. That's the thing I was hoping for. I was hoping that with the cover art, if you could, like, take off the little, like, cover and it flips over and shows this one. A uh, little surprise there, but this is more. Again, there's, like, 120 pages, whereas the original the original one was only around 62. 
And so underneath here, okay, they, oh, here's how they put the, the game cover. Now we have this CD soundtrack. Wow, and this has a total of 12 songs. That's, that is actually impressive here. So, all right, let's see. A New Journey Begins, Main Theme, Battle Edit, Farm Boy, On Our Way, oh snap, Follow the Black Rose, Mithril Gaul, June, Cosa del Sol, oh my god. Something tells me that my family's gonna like that song, because my family are not video gamers, but something tells me they're gonna like that song. And we have two variations with Heavy Heart, the final lap of Chocobo, and the live stream, oof. Ooh, uh, he, yeah, so, uh, we could just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to take out, I'm gonna take out this cover, I'm gonna take out this plastic real quick. Um, you know what I like about this CD soundtrack, ladies and gentlemen, is that it really, it, it really takes me back in the sense that it has that old school, like, design. Because this is how, obviously, this is how, like, CDs are. And, yes, I'm an old school CD guy because I do own... I still own my CD player. I mean, this is the guy that has... I have the sound... I literally... I still have the physical CD soundtracks for Final Fantasy X, X2. I have the rare Super Smash Brothers 4, you know, 3DS and Wii U soundtracks, as well as the soundtracks for Street Fighter 4, the original, and Capcom vs. SNK 2. So I'm an old school guy right here. Oh, we have... Okay, so right here we have... Um, let's see if we can... Uh, Alright, this is gonna be super hard if I don't zoom in. Yeah, Nobu Matsu and everyone else. Yeah, I, I, I know it looks a little weird, but I, I, I had to do that because I wanted to make sure, you know, we, we show everyone. So, that's Cloud Strife here. I'm going to be super careful. I'm going to be very, very gentle. Okay. Yeah, I got to be super gentle. Right here, it just says Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And here is a CD disc, which has Cloud Strife on it. Yay, it's Cloud. All right, that, that's actually kind of cool, though, seeing that. Which, again, there's 12 songs in this CD soundtrack, whereas the soundtrack for... Actually, the soundtrack for Remake actually had 12 songs. But the difference is, this one has, um, just came like this. This is how it came, and you, we see we have the artwork for uh, for Cloud right here, for Remake. But but this one comes in more, has more of that, like, specialty, because it comes in, like, the CD cover, as, as we all knew how it looked like back then. But, dang, there it is, guys. I mean, just, okay, once again, we have, we have the game... The steel case, the CD soundtrack, and then this art book. Uh, and I, actually, you know, I think I think I don't know why it came like that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it makes sense. So it goes, so it goes like this, 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 and this. Honestly, I could see like why it's so much bigger, and the value is there though. I mean, especially with that art book. Uh, not and not to mention not to mention the fact that games are now seventy dollars instead of sixty dollars. But that's literally everything that comes in this thing. And it, honestly, it looks it looks so fantastic. I really I, I'm actually a big, big fan of this of this thing. Uh looks great. It's gonna be worth it. I mean it's gonna be worth it because everybody's telling me that this is a like generational game. This is like a game for the generations. Let's see if I can put all of it side by side together. Let's see. Uh if I can do this, let's see here. Uh I'm gonna see if I can put all of them together without this thing falling off. Okay. Let's see. There we go. Nice. Actually, not that bad. Okay, wait, hold on. It, it's covering up a little bit. Maybe I'll do this. I guess it's better. Okay, I, I think like that looks better. But that is basically my unboxing of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Deluxe Edition. Very excited. Cannot wait to play this game in a couple of days on my channel. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. That's my unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because if you're a big fan of Final Fantasy, I do a lot of Final Fantasy content. And if you're a big fan of wrestling, fighting games... You know, a lot of reaction, New York City stuff. You know, hope you'll check out. Cannot wait to play Rebirth in a couple of days, guys. When I have, when I'm free. 
And, well, I can't wait to see how the unknown journey continues. Right, bye, everyone.